Boris FX is celebrating the 20-year anniversary of planar tracking, an innovative technology that has made a lasting impact on the film and television industry. Widely used by professional visual effects artists, planar tracking is famous for saving valuable time on common post-production tasks. For example, tracking and following moving objects to insert new screens or graphics. To help replace backgrounds or magically recreate historical locations. To isolate actors in mask moving elements. To remove unwanted objects without painting frame by frame. And for all sorts of digital makeup and visual effects trickery. Here we'll take a moment to acknowledge Mocha, our pioneering tool that has put planar tracking on the map for 20 years and has helped raise the bar for what can be accomplished in digital post. It started in the late 90s when Philip McLaughlin made an interesting discovery at Surrey University in England. While researching computer vision algorithms to stitch panoramic images together, he found an efficient method to remove foreground objects from moving video footage. Learning that this was an important process for feature film visual effects, over time a team was built, the process was refined, and Moki was released. The first commercial software tool built on the planar tracking concept. The tool was first designed to automate the removal of wires and stunt harnesses from action shots, but early adopters in the film industry took special notice of the power and accuracy of the underlying tracking algorithm. This simplified workflow of drawing a loose shape than tracking, combined with the ability to follow planar motion, was quite different from the point and feature-based tracking tools available at the time. The planar surface and spline-based shapes could seemingly follow objects and stay locked on through conditions that made other tracking techniques fail. For example, objects that traveled to the edges of the screen had motion blur or out-of-focus pixels, or when an object was occluded by something in the foreground. Artists found that this new tool could actually save them from repetitive and time-consuming keyframing tasks, and they began to use it. In time, Moki evolved into Mocha, and its reputation for rock-solid tracking and also for articulated rotoscoping grew. Based on user feedback, new tools were built on top of the planar tracker to make the process more efficient and simpler to learn. Artists from all over the world began to implement planar tracking into their workflow. Planar tracking was famously used on the widely successful Harry Potter films to track the living paintings in Hogwarts Castle, and for other famous and fantastical scenes, like helping transform Natalie Portman in The Black Swan, or to replace Mystique's eyes in X-Men. Mocha's user base grew exponentially in 2008, when Mocha AE was licensed and included by Adobe inside After Effects. A new generation of effects artists and motion graphics animators learned to use planar tracking for all kinds of creative work outside of feature films. For animated looks and experimental graphics. For music videos and all kinds of television and viral video content that constantly push the art forward. Planar tracking is no longer a niche technology. Over time, other software tools have either created their own version of planar tracking or licensed the technology. Boris FX includes a version of Mocha in almost all its products, including Sapphire, Continuum, and Silhouette. And Mocha Pro can even be run as a plugin inside industry standard tools, including Adobe Premiere and After Effects, Avid Media Composer, Foundry Nuke, Autodesk Flame, Blackmagic Fusion, and more. The industry has shown respect for planar tracking. In 2013, the Academy of Motion Pictures recognized the Mocha team with a Science and Technology Award for impact on the film industry. And in 2019, the team received a Technical Emmy Award from the Television Academy. In the last 20 years, almost every Academy Award-nominated film for Best Visual Effects has used planar tracking in the mix. And popular TV shows like The Walking Dead, Stranger Things, and many more regularly use planar tracking tools and techniques to deliver outstanding-looking visual effects on time and on budget. And the Mocha team at Boris FX continues to push the technology forward. Tools like lens correction, magnetic splines, megaplates, 360 VR support, and the new power mesh subplanar tracking all make Mocha Pro an essential tool for post-production. So join us in celebrating this 20-year milestone. Boris FX is celebrating by releasing Mocha Pro 2022, the newest update with significant tracking updates, speed improvements, new features, and much more. To learn more about Mocha Pro and other visual effects software and plugins, visit us at borisfx.com.